Hello and welcome to another tutorial of PowerPoint. Today, I am gonna share my top 5 techniques to work with shapes in PowerPoint. This techniques includes shape picture overlay effect, 3D shapes, custom shapes, grouping of shapes and shape duplication. Let's start the video and learn these amazing techniques. So I have this picture and I want to fill my text with this picture. To perform this task, go to insert and select text box. Draw a text box on your picture. Write anything of your choice in your text box. I am writing PowerPoint. Select your text. Change the font style. I am choosing Arial Black. Change the font color to white and increase the font size. Central align your text. Select your picture. And now select your text. Go to shape format from the arrange group. Choose align and choose align center. Now from the shape format, go to insert shape, merge shape and choose intersect. Here we go. We have the shape picture overlay effect. 2. 3D shapes. Let's suppose we want to create a cube in PowerPoint. For that we are going to follow these steps. Go to insert, illustration, shapes and select rectangle. Press shift and draw the rectangle. Select your rectangle. Press ctrl C for copy and ctrl V to paste. Arrange it like this. Again paste your rectangle and arrange it like this. Now select your first rectangle. Go to shape format. Edit shape and edit points. Change the right corner like this. In the left corner like this. Select your third rectangle. Go to edit shape, edit points. Let's make it more perfect. Perfecto. So here we have a cube in PowerPoint and you can make amazing 3D shapes using the edit shape technique inside PowerPoint. 3. Custom shapes. Here I want to create an infographics. For that go to insert shapes I am choosing rectangle rounded corners. Now again go to insert shape and this time I am going to use oval. Press shift and draw the oval. Now select your rounded rectangle and oval. Go to shape format, insert shape, merge shape and choose subtract. Now go to insert, create a rectangle, send it to back from the shape format. Change the color scheme and here you can create amazing infographics or you can write anything inside. So with the help of merge shapes you can create infographics in PowerPoint. For grouping let's copy these two shapes and paste. Now select both shapes. Go to shape format and from the arrange select group. Now you can easily move both these shapes as a single shape with the help of group. 5. Duplicating shapes. For that, let's go to insert shapes rectangle. Now again go to insert shape oval. Press shift draw an oval. Select rectangle. Now select oval. Go to align center and middle. Merge shape and subtract. Resize it. And now let's suppose you want to create multiple copies of this shape. Ctrl C, Ctrl V is the option we can use. But with the help of this Ctrl C and Ctrl V we have to arrange these shapes again and again every time. Now another technique we can use is press Ctrl D. Arrange your shape once and now press Ctrl D again and again it will auto adjust on your screen. If you like these techniques do share it with your friends, let us know your feedback in the comments and suggestion for the future videos. See you in the next video.